Okay. I sure appreciate you stopping by for that. Well, the entire community was up in arms and mad at Good Samaritan. And, um, you know, none of, none of our community had a clue that that was even a possibility. Yeah, I left him there till December 31st. I told the administrator I'd be there at 11.59 p.m. to pick him up, um, just because I wanted to be a stick in the mud. I picked him up at lunchtime, but I'm in there, but I'm not cooking, so. Let's see, I'm gonna get you. If you look up on a demographic scale for this zip code, 25% of the population in 68922 is 65 and older. Now, some of those people are going to age out at home. Some of them are going to age out with relatives. But for 60 years, we've had a nursing home. I know our answer is for Alan to live at home because if I leave the community three or four times a week, then I'm not part of my community anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm part of the highway and that's not my vision for how life works. But you know what that means. And I've been... We're gonna have fun tonight. We have developed lots of strategies to take care of him. You ready for some super nachos? I brought you some super nachos from Cunningham's. Do you want some? Uh, yeah, I think I do. <laughs> We've known each other since we were in high school. High school. Yep. When you live 15 miles apart, um, like in like here in Arapahoe, Cambridge is 15 miles away. Mm -hmm. um, by the time you graduate, you've dated everybody in the other town. <laughs> um, so same with us. I mean, I we didn't date when we were in high school, but we dated right out of, when I was right out of high school. So I have a, we have a calendar. We went through one of his desks, and it had my phone number in it. So we know the days that we went out. <laughs> um, and you know, one of his best friends married one of my best friends. And uh, so we, we've known each other since we were kids. Huh? You want a ruffle? You want a ruffle? You know, we do have good facilities that are close. Those are all city owned, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that you know, in, in rural America, we have to consider is, you know, is a large corporation something we want in our cities or our towns, I should say? Um, is that practical? Is it reliable? I don't know the answers to those questions. Um, but, you know, a lot of cities have decided that they wanted to run their own nursing homes, and, and that's something that our community has to decide as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the people in our communities helped build downtown. They helped. Uh, they were teachers here, they, yeah, and so to give them uh, to give them a bad shake on the end of their life is really not the way it should go. Um, they should be they should feel confident that that there's a plan. And really, I think it's important to evaluate is Medicaid even a valuable part of the nursing care discussion anymore? What's the best way? to take care of the aged and disabled in a way that's equitable. It's inequitable now, and it's one of the reasons that this many nursing facilities are closing, is because funding is inequitable. And so how can we make that different is the important question to take away from Arapahoe, Nebraska. Um, how, can, how can people feel comfortable about aging?